Hey everybody! This is Music for Teaching, where we use music to teach music, and a lot of other things too. Have you ever wondered why classical music is filled with words like allegro, and crescendo, and staccato, and cello, and bravo? Well, these are all Italian words that we still use today to describe music. Well, Italians had a huge influence in early music. Our modern musical notation system came from Italy. The sonata came from Italy. Not that sonata, the musical form sonata. And some of the finest string instruments ever made came from Italian instrument makers like the Stradivari family. With this influence, it just makes sense that other countries would adopt Italian musical terms as well. So there's a group of Italian musical terms that can be pretty confusing to young musicians. And those are tempo markings. Well, tempo, another Italian word, simply means time. The tempo of a piece of music is how fast or slow it will be played. Nowadays, you may just see a number after a note like this to indicate the tempo. But if you play classical music, eventually you will see Italian terms as well. Well, that number tells you the beats per minute, or BPM. It's a lot like when they take your pulse at the doctor's office. Your pulse, or BPM, is how many times your heart beats in one minute. So if it's a high number, your heart is beating fast. And if it's a low number, it's beating slow. Now you know we're going to use music to help us learn some common tempo markings. But we're going to need some help. Well, we need some kind of device to help us make sure that we keep a steady tempo. We need a metronome. Well, that's right. Now we can just download a metronome app on our phones, but early metronomes were much different. The first patented and widely used metronome was Meitzel's metronome, made by Johann Meitzel. You'd set the tempo on the pendulum, wind it up, and let it go. Meitzel even gave Ludwig von Beethoven one of his metronomes, and he used metronome markings ever since. This type of metronome has been used for over 200 years, and is still used today. All right, let's sing some songs to help us learn those metronome markings. Than medium is in the middle between 
fast and slow. So there isn't much more that you need to know than that. The next tempo is slightly faster and sometimes it has a bounce which makes it feel kind of light and it's called Allegretto Beethoven wrote this melody you're hearing now but possibly the most famous Allegretto is in his seventh symphony. Without help from a computer making my words go so fast I hope the song is over very soon because I cannot sing Allegro anymore I think I'm done The next tempo is Vivace Even faster than Allegro The beats for minute for this here music Is pretty high now 160 But don't think that tempo's that fast There's more to come Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. And by the way, I said in the beginning of the video how tempo markings can be confusing for young musicians. Well, actually, they can be confusing for any musician. Let's take Adagio, for example. Throughout the years, Adagio has been used to indicate tempi anywhere from 54 beats per minute to 97 beats per minute. That's a huge range. So ultimately, it is up to the musician to decide the exact tempo for a piece of music based on the particular style, time period, composer, and many other factors. That's why orchestra conductors have such a difficult and important job. They need to figure out how the music without metronome markings should be played based on the few directions that are given. And remember, there are many tempo markings in between the ones I mentioned here. So let this just be a starting point on your tempi musical journey. All right, see you next time. Okay, everybody, it's time to see what you learned from the video. Go ahead and write down your answers, and feel free to pause the video if you need more time to think about the answers. Here we go. Number one. Which tempo was the fastest shown in this video? A. Presto. B. Allegro. C. Vivace. D. Prestissimo. Number two. What country did the tempo markings we discussed in the video originate? A. Germany B. Poland C. Switzerland D. Italy Number 3. Put these four tempo markings in order, slowest to fastest. A. Andante B. Largo C. Grave D. Adagio Number 4. Larghetto describes a fast and lively piece of music. True or false? A. True. B. False. 
Number five, there are no tempo markings in between Andante and Moderato. True or false? A, true. B, false. Number six, which is faster, Allegro or Allegretto? A, Allegro or B, Allegretto? Number seven, what device do we use to keep a steady tempo? A, a digibeat. B, metronome. C, metrograde. D, snare drum. Number eight, check all tempo markings slower than moderato. A, vivace. B, adagio. C, grave. D, andante. Number nine. What does the number in the metronome marking refer to? A. BPM, beats per minute. B. MPH, miles per hour. C. RPM, revolutions per minute. D. BPS, bits per second. Number 10. Approximately how many years has the metronome been in use? A. 50 years. B. 100 years. C. 150 years. D. 200 years. Alright guys, that does it for our assessment portion of this video. Go ahead and look for the correct answers in the description and see how you did.